the Kafkaesque, bureaucratic, banalized, invisible, dreadful, we're here to help. I'm afraid your inquiry can't be heard. This is diabolical. All right, this is funny. I think you like this. It takes a lot to make Jordan Peterson say, whoa, this is some really weird stuff. This is too much even for me. But that's exactly what Russell Brand did. Now, we've already done deep dives before into the whatever you might want to call it metamorphosis of Russell Brand into a strange sort of conspiracy theory supporting almost guru type figure that seems to have sucked in people from left and right into thinking that he is truly the holder of so much unique and important knowledge. Russell Brand in the clip I'm about to play for you is uh, interviewing Jordan Peterson or maybe Jordan Peterson is interviewing Russell Brand, better said. It does, you know, with these things, it's often hard to tell because they're often just rants that pass each other like two ships in the night. Russell Brand manages to confuse Jordan Peterson with a taste of his own medicine. I'm going to play for you Russell Brand's rant which would be exactly the sort of thing that you would expect Jordan Peterson to do. Now, if you're not watching this, if you're only listening, it is true that part of this is visual. The looks on Peterson's face as he is listening to this bizarre rant. And by the way, we we see the word Kafka esque appear. Russell Brand uses the word Kafka esque. What I would argue is Kafka esque is this rant itself. Okay, so strap yourselves in. If you're only listening, imagine a bewildered and perplexed look on the face of Jordan B. Peterson. It's difficult to avoid, I feel, Jordan, is the sense that not only is there this, you know, and you it's something you touched upon earlier. You said, no, it's not only force, you know, and, and I sort of offered you that perhaps the ben- benevolence that this force has issued, but could be, and this is of course reductive, an inadvertent side effect of, uh, uh, of ty- tyranny. And please be aware that I am apprised of the fact that the forms of tyranny that are emerging now, apparently in opposition to these old schools, not to be repeated, let's face it, militaristic, demagogic, populist, strongman forms of tyranny that we're being continually warned of are far more terrifying. The Kafkaesque, bureaucratic, banalized, invisible, dreadful, we're here to help. I'm afraid your inquiry can't be heard. This is diabolical. Huxley's hell terrifies me even more than Orwell's, although plainly we're in some amalgam with uh, beautiful gilding from Kafka in the sort of unknowable quality. Where is the judge? What is the trial? Who's doing all this stuff? And it seems to me that there must be, even if we are to say it's about power, even if we are asking, who is it an internal struggle? Is it my power over my instincts and the expression of those instincts in, in, in conjunction with culture that I might call self over time? Right. There's there seems to be some other agent. There does indeed seem to be a serpent. There do indeed appear to be fallen angels. There do indeed appear to be ulterior forces at work. For I am struck that when I was an emblem of this culture in my hedonism, I was gloried and made much of. All right, I'm going to stop it. It, it. Brand comes off as a narcissist with a persecution complex increasingly focused on generating these elaborate expressions of his thoughts without communicating any substantive idea. Now, there's another similarity when we talk about these sort of guru like figures that are often followed, not because their opinions are so clear, but because their opinions are completely the opposite of clear. One of the things we're seeing is a similarity in the rantings of Jordan Peterson and Russell Brand. That's similarity number one. Similarity number two is that their most devoted followers, at least until they realize that none of this stuff makes any sense. When someone like me says this is not communicating substantive and concrete ideas or giving you anything to achieve a meaningful result, this is just these are deliberately ornate and elaborate musings of absolutely no meaning or value. The followers of these guys will come to me and they'll say, David, you're not smart enough. You're not knowledgeable enough. 
you're not intelligent enough to understand what it is that they are saying. That's a classic when you get into this guru cult world. And increasingly, Russell Brand is sort of a guru cult type leader, um, sort of a hybrid between uh, like a Trump and a Tulsi Gabbard, where some people remember they saw Tulsi Gabbard and they said, this is the real leftist. This is the real this is who really knows what we need in this country. Um, and so a lot of the defenders will say, David, you're just not smart enough to understand the concrete and substantive ideas that Russell Brand is communicating in this rant. Well, tell me what they are then. I would love to know what they are, because he's doing something that is really common of these cult leaders and guru like figures. He's using elaborate and verbose speech to um, sort of mask the fact that there is extraordinarily little substance here. Now, people wrote to me and said, David, this reeks of stimulant use as well. I have absolutely no comment on that whatsoever. I'm just not familiar enough to Russell with Russell Brand to know whether that that's a thing. Um, and and th the other interesting aspect to this is that Jordan Peterson, in his more psychological issue commentary, will often talk about personality disorders. There are all sorts of Jordan Peterson lectures floating around where he talks about personality disorders, and he so often ends up finding himself wrapped up in conversation with people who seem to have many of those very same disorders, narcissistic traits, uh, Russell Brand, and I won't list others, but you could probably guess who they are. And in those cases, he's relegated to acting as though they're presenting novel and fascinating ideas with which they can grapple substantively. So it's really wild stuff. This entire entire kind of guru sort of space uh, is is uh, fascinating. And it's fascinating in part because the followers that they build up and it could be Trump, could be Jordan Peterson, could be Russell Brand or could be others. The followers seem particularly susceptible uh, to this type of type of cultish thinking uh, and defense of their uh, glorious leaders until such time that they become disaffected by them. It is time to start thinking like voters and to make sure that kids understand the importance of voting, how it works, registering ballot initiatives, because so many kids just have no idea. That's why I wrote the new children's book. Think like a voter. I can think of no better time and no more important group of folks to try to reach. The book is now available at davidpackman.com slash book, where, by the way, you can get the first two books in the series as well. Think like a detective and think like a scientist. Really important stuff. Donate them to local libraries, classrooms, read them with the kids. davidpackman.com slash book.